What I still consider to be among the best bird behavior footage I've ever filmed was a result of dispersed bird feeding techniques. Quite simply, it's spreading a small amount of bird seed that will be consumed in a few hours at most around various interesting and appealing spots at your location to feed birds while limiting the spread of any disease and providing a nice environment for photos and videos and observation. You can get real fancy and have seeding locations near a number of these dispersed feeding areas. In this case, it's simply a large fallen limb of a black cherry tree in front of a hemlock tree. You can use existing wood cavities and bark and also modify wood by drilling small holes in places to put small amounts of seeds. I did a video on setting up a backyard studio that uses some of these techniques and I'll link that below. It's a simple and effective concept that can be executed in an infinite number of ways depending on your location. The important thing is to have fun and enjoy the birds and make the birds healthier. Here's an example of a dispersed feeding run at Backyard North. So just to follow up what I mentioned with the sick cardinals uh, on a video recently about dispersed bird feeding, a couple of reasons to do that. One is to uh, still provide sustenance to birds even when they're sick without causing a concentration of uh, bird activity around feeders. It's best to put away the feeders, but you don't want to completely uh, not feed the birds because they're obviously they need some sustenance. So disperse bird feeding is it's, it's just a simple idea uh, and it kind of depends on what your uh, situation is but here in uh, especially up in the Smoky Mountains I've got all sorts of places to uh, disperse the bird seed. And I'll just show you an example I'll probably put it in about a dozen or so different places. This is just a little mix I have of uh, roasted unsalted peanuts, black oil sunflower and uh, black oil sunflower Heart. So, you know, dispersed feeding is just a simple thing of, of taking uh, small amounts of food. You know, just a little pinch here. We'll come down here about 12 more feet, put a little pinch, just enough for like one, one or two birds might eat that. It's not rocket science, but especially cardinals, they're extremely uh, intelligent and observant. I've got a little feeder over here that I hardly ever use. It's an old squirrel feeder. And it's a kind of a good standby. Of course, I'm doing this with a cell phone, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm being a little shaky, but, you know, just a little pinch here and a little pinch there. There's another place over here that I know the birds love to uh, stop by. A couple more rocks here. Just put a pinch here, and a pinch there. And of course, over here we have a feeding area that hasn't been used all summer. I used to use this a lot. I use it once in a while, especially when I have like um, big things like walnuts and things like that. And you can see we're right on the edge of the Sirius forest here and that's the little stream down there where the if you've been watching the bird feeder cam it's off in the back here so I just put the little pinches of food here and there doesn't have to be anything fancy I'm out here in the yard now and another place you can do it there's a couple of number of stumps that I'm in the process of Trying to get rid of just a few little sprinkles of seed on the stump. Another one there. Birds are extremely observant. They know exactly where all these seeds are. Some, you can see a bird is probably a woodpecker stuffed an acorn in that hole that I drilled in there. It's another tree stump. Now, of course, not everybody has tree stumps, but you get the idea. Let's try and spread out the bird seed and provide a bird safe um, bird feeding activity. The other thing too is, if you notice, all these places are pretty uh, safe from predators. Now we're down in another area here. And, uh, I'll sprinkle a little seed right here on this giant rock. And uh, zoom over here on this rock pile. Now, there's another reason to do this. In fact, I do this a lot to uh, improve bird photography. 
I'll uh, display that I got at a craft shop, craft show some years ago. Kind of cool. A little screech out just on a fence post. Come over here to this other fence post here and just put a little bird seed right on the fence post. That's a favorite spot of a lot of different birds. We're going down in the forest area now. Put some more food, sprinkle some food here. Down in the, in the creek. I purposely have a rock here to put some seed on. So we'll put a little seed there. Now, about half of these in the forest, the chipmunks are going to Couple more rocky places. This is another feeding station that I keep in reserve. Put a little mixture of seed there. Come down on this rock here. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal will easily find another place down by the water hole. The Cardinals are not feeling well. They've been hanging around the water hole. So now I'm down in the spring. Freshwater spring that most of you who've been watching the videos are familiar with. It's an opportunity to put a few little seed places over here. Little spot there. Let's see, this is a favorite washing and drinking place of the Cardinals. Just put in a couple seeds there. And really just disperse the seeds over a wide area in small amounts. Chipmunks and squirrels will get some and a variety of birds will get the others. Here's another great place to put seed that's like on a on a log here. See a lot of birds well a natural log cavity. It's also a great idea if you're trying to get good bird photographs because who wants to photograph a bird on a feeder? You see any little natural little storage locations on a down tree? Just put them like that, and the birds will find them. You get sustenance. You have a very low probability of picking up or transferring any diseases. See, this is, the birds love this super dense, wet environment down here in the deep forest. And of course, the leaves are falling pretty rapidly, but down in the understory, there's still a fair amount of green, even though it's now late October. And here's a little, nice little picking area. It's a little area to put some seed. Another little area here. Hmm. Oh, here's a rock I can't resist. So it might seem like a lot of work, but it's good for the birds. And if you're trying to take, you know, observe birds and bird photography. You know, instead of getting a picture or video of a bird on a... Here's a really cool place to put seed here. 
rotten tree. Just pour the last that I got right on top of that tree right there. And I guarantee you the birds will find it if the chipmunks don't find it first. And if you were to be sitting around here wanting to take a photograph, it would be a whole lot more interesting. Taking a photograph of a bird on that dead tree than it would be of a bird sitting on a feeder. So you burst the feeding, provide food and healthy food for the birds in a healthy environment. And you find a, a nice environment if you're taking a walk. You see a selection of different birds at these different places.